All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and the elders, and salutations to you brothers teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson is going to be entitled, The Wows, Part 2. Remember, the enemy has only images and illusions behind which he hides his true motives. Destroy the image and you will break the enemy. Okay, the enemy is Satan and his images and illusions are the wiles. His motive is to prevent the elect from crossing the finish line. And how do you break the image of Satan by putting on the whole armor of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah? Okay. First scripture, first Peter five and eight, be sober. That means to be calm and collective in the spirit, also to be circumspect. Be vigilant. That means to be watchful. It's just another form. Because your adversary, the devil, and what does this mean? That he is classified as the opposition, as a roaring lion, meaning he's fierce, he's powerful, and he's strong. Walketh about. He's always present, seeking whom he may devour. And ultimately, these are so-called brothers that are called and not chosen. Ephesians 6 and 11. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now remember, I stated that the wiles are his images and his illusions that he used to prevent you from crossing the finish line. Let's um, look at wiles in the Greek. Strong's G, 3180, Methodia, Methodia. Okay. All right, cunning arts, deceit, craft. That means he's skillful and trickery. Let's focus on deceit. And according to Google.com, deceit is defined as the action or practice of deceiving someone by concealing or misrepresenting the truth. Okay, and this is also synonymous with illusions because illusions are defined as to be, to be deceived by a perception or a belief. So Satan will use wiles as deceit and trickery and images and illusions such as you don't have to fellowship, not paying tight, you're studying too much. Not spending enough time with your woman and family and issues with brothers due to rebuke. So you destroy these images by praying to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai constantly. Fellowshipping, being balanced in the truth, keeping the truth primary and everything else is second, third, and fourth, and fifth. Accepting rebuke like a man. In a nutshell, Ephesians 6 and 13, wherefore take until you the whole armor of the Most High. Now, if you're going to a battle, you're going to have to have armor. And this consists of having a helmet, having a, um, a breastplate, having um, a sword, and a shield. Now, by you utilizing the scriptures, the scriptures show you how to put these instruments on correctly and to attack and defend using these instruments. Okay? That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. What's the evil day? Ultimately, Jacob's trouble. And having done all to stand, meaning you gave it your all. And, hey, at the end of the day, the elect will continue uh, to be guided by the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and also they were, they're going to have that whole armor of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? So when you get these images and illusions about crazy shit, you go the opposite way, man. You pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. 
okay? And you fast if needed. And you fellowship, man. You get closer to the brothers. Whatever Satan uh, wants you to do, utilizing bullshit as illusions, you go the opposite way, man. Hope you were edified. Shalom.